Hello, my fellow gamers. This is your Point and Critic Gamer here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Grey Matter. Well, we just talked to the Lab Club, or Lamb Club, whatever they want to pronounce it, and, well, hold on, I'm going to get this out of my inventory. Oh, no, I don't want that in my inventory, too. Okay. Am I not able to... Uh... There we go. Okay. Um, in any case, uh... For some odd reason, we're aware of our next uh, event is going to have a stream, maybe in being in the uh, gymnasium. So, again, I kind of wonder. I don't recall any scene that indicated that. I might be wrong. Someone maybe in the comments might say, oh, they actually did. It was like a few minutes ago or something, but... Apparently, we know that it's going to happen in the gym. The next event is having us dream about being in the gym. And so we're going to set a trap so that way when we do do our experiment or something, we're able to catch whoever's trying to do the pranks or something. Which, again, it's kind of weird, but... All right, in any case, um... Basically... Good day, Miss Everett. Uh-huh. Yep, he's still been standing here all this time. Couldn't they have him stand, like, you know, right in front of the cash register so we, you know, make him look like he's actually, you know, working, not just him just standing there just going, I'm just waiting for the inevitable. The money put into the coin slot disappears in a hit. Yeah, uh, I'm just randomly clicking on crap. Your okay, I got something. Warn Uh, makes your eye. Nope. Okay. The contents of it. I definitely. I'm betting I'm buying everything in the store later on. Uh, I'm just hoping I'm getting everything. Um. Okay. Uh, um. Try this shell just to be sure. Um. The side. Any text written with this. Any text. Um. The bread and butter. Okay, what do I have? Oh. I hate that you can't even look at the inventory when you're in those close up shots. Alright, so I have microphone spy. Alright. I got. Cry for help, no noisemaker. Flash powder. Where did I get these? Flash powder trap and trigger line. Okay, well, I got. Oh my gosh, oh, hopefully that's it. Let's pay the dumbass. Oh, wait, did I talk to him? I need to talk to you about something. Hmm? Be my guest. I have a coin. I need to talk to you about something that's going on with my employer. Dr. Stiles. Uh huh. He's yeah. running an experiment in the basement of Dreadhill House. There yeah. are six students, and he has us visualize exercising. It seemed harmless, but mm -hmm. then things started getting weird. And I couldn't find any traces of dye at the pool. Okay. Not even in the filters. But I'm not really worried about the pool. All right. It's the track that's the real challenge. Hmm. It's the track. Yes. Being a puzzle, and I find it most intriguing. Oh, but it's Wait, not a puzzle. Why did you just blatantly say out the pool this is without even game. being sure that Someone he knows what's going on? Club. Obviously, there's a magician involved. The wind of the track of and course. the shape in the pool were classic Mr. X, distracting the witnesses while the lines were painted and the pool was dyed. Naturally, one would think that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Styles is the perfect victim. Uh -huh. He's a recluse, and his published articles make it clear that he's a chump for the supernatural. If I got a copy of his experiment plan, anyone could have gotten it. Someone uh -huh. is using it to plot these stunts. If it is a game, it's an original one. Brilliant, in fact. Yes. Okay. I guess it is brilliant. Brilliant and awful. Do you know of anyone who might be designing a well. grand game right now? Maybe someone with ties to Oxford? 
You must know all the magicians in this area. My dear. Is it the club has actually really that bad because thousands of regular customers. Well, There's always someone running a game. Indeed. And a solution occurs to me. You yourself are running the game, and telling me is your way of alerting the Daedalus Club. It's not my game. <laughs> How do we know? I liked that solution. But don't you see <laughs> people could get hurt? Dr. Styles for one, but also students. The people who witnessed these events have been terrified. Oh, mm -hmm. being terrified can be thrilling. Yeah. It gives one something to talk about in old age. It's you. You did it. You did it. You did it. Doesn't sound like any serious harm has been done. Uh huh. Not yet, anyway. But if it uh -huh. truly isn't your game, then I'd suggest you look at the other students in the experiment. Mm. Well, you know what they say. There's always a plant in the house. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're right. One of them has to be in on it. Thank you. Yeah, you never thought of that. I finished the betrayer's price. Did you? Uh, okay. Congratulations are in order. You might want to check the box again. One never knows. I'll do that. Okay. What box? That box over there? I'll check back later. I'd Let's... like to pay before yeah. I go. Right you are. Why couldn't I pay him when I talk to him? Thank you, Mr. Yep. All right. And again, he doesn't grab the money or anything. He just stands there. Again, why isn't he just standing there? Why isn't he, like, standing by the register? Oh. Smile for the camera, Samantha. <sighs> okay. Hi. I knew you were a magician. I was just window shopping. What? Yeah, right. They have some great stuff in there. I got some fake vomit for a film scene last week. Lucky uh -huh. you. What are you doing here anyway? Were you following me? In your fantasies. Your hot, <laughs> fevered, sign me up fantasies. When did we start? Oh, Forget God. And you didn't answer the question. I was just shooting some B roll. But excuse me for breathing. My mother never did, but that doesn't mean you can't. Hey, check out those <laughs> eyebrows. Classic. God. Why don't you just say that I'm plan? I just thought about maybe a little trap. You know. Well, I guess maybe if I if she told, and he was in on it, he could prevent it or something. There's probably that argument. All right, let's head to a school. All right. Let's enter the let's enter the lobby. I don't, I just don't recall. Is it, was there a schedule somewhere located that indicated when the next event's happening? I'm going to say we're going to focus our minds on the pool, focus our mind on that. Is that what the schedule said? I don't know. Okay, do I have everything? I want to rig the flash power. Yeah, okay, so, uh... Okay, and there. Right. These flash powder traps are ready to go. So, oh, there we go. Yeah, that'll work nicely. I'll set it up later after the gym closes for the night. Yeah, and this one too. All right. There. Now both doors are covered. Okay, and now that so wait, are the doors prepared? Um is there anything? Our sign. Can't see it. The gym think... closes at eleven. I'll get here before then and hide. When they lock up, I'll be inside. Okay, so I still have the flash powder thing in my hand. Did that did I hook up the trap or not? Alright, let's just and... I think that's everything. If anyone All enters right. this room tonight, the flash powder traps will alert me. And... I'll turn on the lights and catch him red handed. 
Now, okay. if I only had a camera, I could get some hard evidence on film. Oh, well, why don't you borrow that creepy guy's camera? He probably has a camera. Or do I have one? No, microphone spy. Don't know what that's going to be used for, but... Oops. Uh, let's see. Um, what to do? Uh, let's go here. Santa, huh? Let's talk to her. Do you know a student named Malik? Yeah. You mean Dr. Linkwella's teaching assistant? Ah. Really? Was there something you wanted to know about him? No. I think I just mm. found out all I need to know. Yep. Thanks. That's Star. Uh, that Dr. Styles enemy. The. Okay. His Do I have anything that indicates a schedule? Wow. No. Um. Susan's phone. It's a phone list for the department. Mm hmm. It's a phone list for the department. Okay, well, it says link word is 11. Okay. Ah, so maybe this is where, what I'm going to. When a spy links, it's. Or link wink. Link Willer. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Link Willer. Um, this ascension is 11. 11, around the same time as that place closes. I'm going to check again. Was that really 11? <sighs> Loading screens are taking a while. I should put the neurobiology department's phone number into okay. my cell phone directory. I can't put in extensions though, so I'll have to remember the one I want. Okay. It's a phone list for the. So I guess I, it's his. Oh, it's eleven. I get it. So it's not his time. It's the number to dial. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see if I can call him. I guess. Alright, um... Try now? No reason to call there at the moment. Okay. I'm trying to figure out which is it, uh... At least it, Dr. Hapy. 
Sissy. I mean, I put the phone in my contact, didn't I? Doctor? Okay. Who do I call? Who do I call? Who do I call? No reason to call there. Shut up. Ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Click on. No reason to call. Did I put the number in? Let me check. I'm sure I put the number in. Or do I? Put the neurobiology department's phone number into my cell phone directory. I can't put in extensions though, so I'll have to remember the one I want. Oh, are you telling me that I needed to? Oh. There. You gotta be kidding me! I could. You couldn't just automatically do that. I had to be sure. When you when you say I'll be sure to put the better put put this in my phone, isn't that a clear indicate? Isn't that like you're kind of confused? Like, oh, she must have put it in her phone. No, we, it literally demands us we may better make sure we do it. Our, we have to select the phone and then put it on there. Oh, okay, okay. Well, now we got it there. <sighs> ring, ring. You have reached the Oxford Neurobiology uh -huh. Department in the Radcliffe Infirmary. If you know the extension you wish to reach, please enter it at this time. Um, let's see. Linkwella speaking. Okay. Um. Mr. Headley wishes to see you <laughs> immediately. Well, what is it now? Oh, never mind. I'm on my way. Okay. Am I hiding from him? Yeah. I guess I am. <laughs> Maybe you should have told him about some some area so it's not like, you know, right next door. In here. I need to hurry. That's a big fucking office. Alright. Linkweller's phone. Wouldn't I love to be a fly on the wall and overhear his conversations? Well, let's use uh what is it? That thing. All right. That should work. Now we'll see what Linkweller's up to. Okay. Now I guess I should leave. Um, let's get out of here. Okay, I took care of that. Uh, let's go to the church. Okay. Uh, go on here. Oh, look who's here. Hi, Angela. Mm hmm. Sam, you know about this place, too? Oh, yeah, it's a great place. Isn't yeah. it wonderful? I come here all the time. You don't say. When I first told you about the experiment, uh -huh. you seemed to know Dr. Stiles. Everyone knows him. But yeah, most okay. people have heard those stupid rumors. He didn't seem afraid. Oh no, I've never thought that way about Dr. Stiles. I saw him walking down the street once. Uh -huh. And I thought he looked so sad and so handsome. I asked someone who he was and they said... That's Dr. Stiles, the famous neurobiologist. This was before the accident? No, it was uh -huh. after. 
And that's all you knew about him? I just knew the rumors couldn't be true. Uh-huh. Huh. Okay. Someone showed me a trick the other day that was really amazing. Do you know any magic? What do you mean? You know, Hard magic tricks. tricks. Cup trips, yep. illusions, things like that? Oh, no, that's silly. Excuse me? Yeah. I like real magic. Like Midsummer Night's Dream? You must know that one if you're in the lit department. Sure. Uh. Shakespeare's cool, but I prefer Victorian lit. Uh huh. Anyway, Angela, that's just fiction. It's funny. I was in the lit department before I transferred to mm -hmm. nursing. I asked some of my old professors about you, but they've never heard of you. Well, you know, uh. I'm still new here, and I've been keeping a low profile. I sit in the back. I guess that explains it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that explains it. Why do you like this church so much? It's the Fairy Chapel. The fairy Chapel? The fairies? Not exactly Church of England, are they? She's right there. What? That's an angel, isn't it? No, it's a fairy. Okay. <laughs> okay. What are you making? I'm copying the window. Oh. Hey, that's good. Very intricate cuts. Yeah. Where'd you learn to do that? The people on my island have always made paper figures. My father taught me. That island of yours sounds like a happening place. <laughs> You're lucky. Would you like to have it? Yeah, sure, why not? God, Angela, you put so much work into it. It relaxes me. And I have lots of them. Are you sure? Thank you. I mean, people don't give me stuff as uh, a magically so teleported to her hand. You're working for Dr. Styles. Harvey says that you are. Yeah, I'm staying at Dread Hill. At the house? That's a bad idea, Sam. Why? Yeah. Oh, uh, people will talk. I don't care. Yeah. I'm his assistant, that's all. But how did you get that job? He requested someone, and the student employment office sent me over. It's not a big deal, Angela. I know, yeah. I, I... It's risky, I mean, with <laughs> Dr. Stiles' reputation and everything. I hope it works out for you. Thanks. So, let me just say, you're Sam, worried about her living there, room? but you're not worried about people spreading word about the fact that you guys are in her Sorry, in his experiments. I'll see you back at the quad later. Okay, I'll see you there. This boy's got she kind of interrupted, but wait. What are you making? I'm copying the window. <laughs> hey, that's the people. Yeah. Would you god it? Are you Yeah, yeah. Okay, why was that this All right, still the animation. Don't tell me I get a second one because I just asked again. Sam, yeah, uh, that, that, yeah, yeah. I don't, I Why did that? I know a thing. Sam, sure, okay. Why did that happen twice? Well, at least it was the only one. Hey, that really is a really damn good fairy cutout. Really well done. But really, why would she? Why would she ha think have no? I don't know. Um, she seems to have a problem. I'm like, oh, living there? That's not a good idea. Why? It could be risky. Yeah, says the girl who's actually... Who's also in Dr. Stein... Dr. Stiles' uh, experiments. Nah, I went to the wrong area. Uh, here. You're in his freaking experiments. Don't you think some people will probably talk more about that? I mean, living with him one, is one thing, but actually being in his experiments is another. Although Sam's in both, so I guess that's something. Let's take a look at this again. I guess we're investigating. Helena, yep. Harvey, Angela, mm -hmm. Charles. They all live in this residence hall. Even Malik lives here. Interesting. Well, it's sort of the only college, and we've seen them hang out in the area, especially in the front yard, so it it's not really that hard to believe that they probably might actually come here or even, in fact, uh, live, live in the dorms. Not so surprising. They're all, they are students, after all. Okay, so we got the information about where they live. So, let's see. Hey. Let's head up.
toilet paper. It's pink. A roll of toilet paper and nail polish. Home manicure, perhaps? Okay. Can I take it? Yep. I think I'll take a little toilet paper. It's good for hiding things. That and I really have to take a... I have to drop a loaf and I'm out. <laughs> but, okay. Let's... <laughs> I, I find it a little silly, though, that there's pink toilet paper. You know, actually, I gotta mention something. I, I actually watched this show called World's Dumbest. It's not all that great, but I always have a fun time watching the dumb people. But they have, like, a subject called World's D Smartest Inventions, which is basically sarcastic. You know, it's World's Dumbest Inventions, of course. And one of the inventions was orange-colored toilet paper... And why was it why was it orange? Well, it's so that way hunters who are wiping their ass would not actually get be confused by with hunters looking for a deer. Yeah, I know. Some for some reason, apparently, they think that a person wiping his ass looks like a deer or so, and that that's why you need or that's why they have orange toilet paper to warn you. I I do not understand who whoever came up with that idea. I'd like to get into Helena's room and poke around, but mm. it's locked. Okay. There has to be another way. Uh, let's go up the second floor. But <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I saw the com there was a there's actually a commercial for that orange toilet paper, and. It was extremely poorly acted. In fact, very bad acting. I'm almost assuming that the those actors were probably the creators of the toilet paper. <laughs> it's just so silly. Uh, Proctor? I was wondering if you'd let me in 204. And why would I do that? Yeah, sure question. I'm delivering cookies. He has my test. You borrowed a book from me, and I need it back right away. You want me to break my personal code of ethics for that? <laughs> it won't happen. Okay, I bet I, I'm not going to bother with that because I definitely think... <sighs> Asking those questions are not going to wow him, so you know what? I think I know what it is. And again, really, why am I pretending? I, 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 I have a walkthrough at the ready, so I'm like seeing... I accidentally get glimpses of it. He wants a magic trick. I was wondering if you... I'm okay. delivering Girl Scout cookies. Oh, yeah? I don't see any cookies. They're really small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those cookies look big enough to me, darling. How about you give me a sample? You're a pig. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, okay. I'm Charles's girlfriend. Uh -huh. I thought I might surprise him. <laughs> You're the third girl this week who claimed to be his girlfriend. How about I let you into my room, huh? And you can surprise me. Hmm. Oh so tempting. But no thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. And, well, okay. He's crying out for a little trickery, but which one should I use? Okay. I don't think oh, that really applies I, here. They meant to click. Okay, so now we need to do a magic trick, of course. Because uh, everything can be solved with a magic trick. Uh, so what's your game? Okay. Oh. Jin, want to play? Five pounds a game, and no crying to the authorities if you lose. Jin's okay, I guess. But I've got a faster game. That is, unless you can only play Jin. I can beat you with any game invented, sweetheart. Uh. It's called Divide and Conquer. I used to play this game with my brother. Uh, he thought he was okay. smarter than I was, and could beat me at everything. My mother used a Divide and Conquer strategy to solve our arguments. Like having my brother divide up a tray of french fries, and then I would get to choose which plate I wanted. That's okay. stupid. I just made one plate look like it had more, but really put more on the other plate. He tried that, but mm -hmm. I'd always get the better of him. Either your brother was a halfwit or you're lying. Yeah, you okay. Bet on it? I'll bet 10 pounds each round. If I get to 30 pounds, I win. Okay. 
So. Okay. Now deal out some cards face up. Anywhere from five to twelve cards, your choice. Okay. Okay, let's see. This is it. I'm gonna check the walkthrough a bit because I don't wanna. There are even numbers of cards dealt, so let the fittest should start. There are our number of cards dealt, so. Well, I see some of your numbers, but. So I need to get to pot 30. 30 to win. Some some pro protector or whatever they call him. I don't know how to pronounce the word. But some guy, right? He says, I would not to go against my my ethics. And it's you're not allowed behind that door. The only person behind that can go through that door is the guy that guy. By himself. Not his girl a person claiming to be his girlfriend. And how about we play a game? Alright, if I if you win I'll do I'll let you do Wait, it's just like really what that's like a dumb thing to do. All right, so let's see. I guess um, there's some more in there. All right, cards dealt. And so let's see. There's one, two, three. That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're basically the same. Um, I'm a tentwall in here, though. Okay. Okay, I'll pick my prediction card. Okay. What's that out there? Okay. Didn't read the rules properly. Um. Oh, there's more two tens. So, yeah. Okay. I what I pick one of your cards to eliminate. What? Okay. The protector selects two cards, and one of the is the prediction card. Select the other one. What? Okay, I don't get that. I take one card, and that card, yeah. All right. I'm not getting this game. I don't think I follow the rules properly, but all right. Did I lose? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I got it. Okay, uh, there seems to be... So I'll better start. Okay. I'm not getting this. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um. 
Here I told you I can predict. I don't get what I'm do how this game works. Like, I didn't pay attention to the rules, but it just doesn't seem to make any sense in my opinion. Uh, guess there's more even. Uh, I'll, I'll bear go. Okay. Um, I'll pick uh, seven. Yeah, there, there, there's, there's my... Yeah. Because I don't know what the fuck. Right. I don't know if I'm winning. <laughs> Damn it. You just obliterated my profit for the week. You have cash? <laughs> you rigged that game somehow. Too bad. I don't know how I did that. Isn't there something else you wanted earlier? That's right. Okay. I wanted you to let me into Charles's room. Swap. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Business with you. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so. He. Forgets his ethnics when it comes to gambling or something. I mean, I, for God's sakes, I don't know. It didn't even seem like that really difficult of a game. It's just like, okay, I select a card that I think is going to be the card of the future or something. And he, we just pick two, and then I just decide which ones. ones. And if he picks the card I decided, I just don't select that one. And I just make sure not to select that one until it's the very last I guess maybe if a, I'm guessing maybe I guess since I knew which turn to take first he wasn't the last one to make the decision at the very end which is my best guess I'm thinking too much of it but we got it we, we that's done with we took care of it all right so now we're in this are we gonna see the ring I mean, there's a picture that looks like something out of the ring, and there's a static TV. All that's left is just to see comes crazy imagery, and then here someone says seven days on my cell phone. All right, so let's see. We're in the room. Okay. So, <laughs> I still don't know what I did. And, um... Magazine. Oh, he has a non-copyright fake PSP. This issue of Scientific American, with an article by Dr. Stiles. But Charles acted like he'd never heard of Dr. Stiles. He uh -huh. sure had me fooled. Okay. Or maybe because considering that he's now working as his working with him when the experiments, maybe he decide, you know what, I'm gonna take a look at the guy or something. Maybe look him up. Nothing of interest in there. <laughs> I just don't know what I did. Did that baby won that contest? I bet some. Is that a books? And Mangas, games, DVDs, <sighs> totally matching Charles's shyness. What is that supposed to mean? <sighs> wow, he really is a nerd. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Hey, this doesn't look anything like Charles. And it's dated just one year ago. Could Charles Eddington be using someone else's identity? Mm. I better take this along as evidence. Charles's mom's number. Okay. I should save her number in my cell phone. It might come in handy someday. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm going to have to slip my phone. There. I put the number in my cell phone memory in case I ever need it. Good. You happy? Happy? All right. Um, let's get out of here. So apparently he's a fraud or he lost a lot of weight. And maybe got a hair dye. I don't know. I, I forgot which one's Charles. Well, that door is a jar, so let's take a look at it. Door is a jar. 
Who came up with that name anyway? The lock bolt is controlled by the knob. Yep. I think if it's set correctly, the door won't lock when you close it. That's the Okay. That's the if I said Okay. If I set if I set this correctly, the door won't lock. Yeah, um, okay. Can I use something to own it? Uh, well, I don't see anything that could well a girl try the pocket knife? If I set What the pocket knife could be if I set the you know, so I have this thing from the very beginning, and yet I haven't even used it once. Same thing with my wallet and my diary, although the diary is sort of like a thing. Okay, well, I guess I can't. All right, let's uh, just uh, go somewhere else. Let's go up to the next floor. That uh, another is that a pro productor productor pre product I I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's go by this door. You there, Har? He's not there. Let's try again. Okay. Nope. It's locked. All right. Let's talk to this guy. Hey. Um. I don't suppose you could let me into room 302. I loaned Harvey Kinderman a camera, and I have to get it back to my AV lab right away. No. <laughs> These faces are bad. Okay. Come on. I know you don't normally let people into other people's rooms, but this is urgent. Not to me. <laughs> He's not going to relent. Damn it. I need to find the right trick. Again, magic trick. It's always a magic trick to solve all these problems. Problems. Well, I guess, is the next battle going to be, oh no, the guy is going to shoot Jerry if I don't do anything. This looks like a job for a magic trick. All right. Luck room mystery. I can do that trick, but I'll need to get set up for it first. Oh boy. Um, wait, do I, I think I already have what I need. Yeah, I think this can help. All right. All right, let's see. Um,. Why does it go all the way there? Uh, let's find the. There we go. Here, that will do nicely. So. I tucked the help me box into the toilet paper. That should keep anyone from noticing it if they see it lying around. <laughs> yeah, I bet most people would be like, "So what's this big clump of pink stuff lying around?" All right, so. Yep, I know what we're doing. We're slipping it under the door, and he's gonna hear like, "Yeah, help!" Okay, so do I activate it? I don't think that's going to get me anywhere. How do I activate it? Oh. Help me! What in the hell? That doesn't sound anything like the person in that room. Sir, are you raping a woman in there? Alright. Doors open. Ah, oh, I see. The door is a jar thing. We're supposed to. That will keep the door from locking when he leaves the room. So that's why I was looking at it. So I had an indication of the door, door, so I can prevent it from being locked. In. All right. Well, that worked. That was strange. All right. <laughs> Wait. A razor head? 
a razor head. <laughs> hey, I remember this movie. Pretty good one. Harvey's got taste. Really? Because I don't recall a movie called Eraser Head, but I don't recall a movie called A Razor Head. What the hell? <laughs> they literally decided to let's just make an actual, take an actual movie and just rename it and even change the poster a bit. So I'm actually going with some... I don't know how I go with that. <sighs> Well, let's see. Let's film gear. He's got a lot of gear. Mm -hmm. I guess Daddy isn't totally against the film thing after all. Or Harvey has his own bank account. Yes, from all the porn he's been filming. Um, screenplay. What's this? Notes for a new film? A mysterious disfigured scientist. Uh -huh. A goth girl named Jimmy. Brain sucking experiments? Is Kinderman pulling these pranks to stage his film? I'm going to find <laughs> out. And if he is, I'm going to kill that twerp. Well, maybe he just was inspired. But alright, picture. Hey, I remember this movie. Okay. That was like the same line before. Ah. Guys, Pulp Fiction. Never let go of toys, right? But it's not a full picture, so we can't tell if it's actually it. Gee, he's even got pictures of famous directors on his shelf. Wait a minute, why is Uber Bowl up here? And a thing again. All right. Um. Let's see if we can try Helena now. Do, do, do. Uh. Okay. I'd like to get into Helena's room and poke around, but it's locked. There has to be another way. Gee, there's an opening here, and there's this big bucket here. I wonder what I can do. What's even the reason for people to have those things? Is it to let air in? I guess. Key. That would oh. have been helpful five minutes ago. Well, yeah. Is that supposed to be a collar or something with a necklace? Alright, so now we got that. Um, camera, let's look at the camera. I need a camera for tonight, but I don't want to just take it. Helena would probably let me borrow it if I asked. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, can I borrow that camera you have next to your computer? How did you know that? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, a box. This is definitely Helena's drawer. Yep. There's some paperwork about her student enrollment, but nothing about magic or conspiracy that I can see. Okay, good. Ooh, panties. Let's take the panties. It's locked. Why would Helena keep a locked box in her own room? Okay, um... Well, maybe it holds her diary. Ever thought of that? Let's try the key. That's the key. Okay. Oh. Sam! What are you doing in here? I was just... I wanted to talk to you, and the door was open, so I... Oh, fine. I'm really freaked out about these events on campus. Someone is setting up styles. And I think one of the Lambs Club is involved. So, yeah. I'm playing detective. <laughs> what did you see in here? Nothing. Except anyway, for your pawn tees. Exactly my suspect list. <laughs> I must be doing something wrong then. <laughs> what? I might let you live. If you give me the dish on everyone else. Who else have you been snooping on, Sherlock? Do tell. <laughs> make it good. And preferably nasty. Well... <laughs> 
Well, what? Okay. Can I, I noticed you have a camera. Yep. Would you mind if I borrowed it just for a day or two? Take it. I never use it. What's the fun of photographs if you're behind the camera and can't be in them? Thanks. Why would you have a camera then, and why would it be out? You know, just like out right next to your laptop and stuff. It'll, it'll, we need to have it like just placed in the drawer or out of re, out of the way so it's not just sitting there for nothing. Wait, do I have to talk to her? Eh, might as well. All right. Malik is the grad student of Styles' biggest enemy on campus, mm -hmm. a man named Linkweller. I have a feeling he'd stop at nothing to ruin Dr. Styles. Is he? Now that is suspicious. Uh huh. Not to mention rude. Okay. Angela knew Dr. Styles before the experiment. I asked her about it, and she said she saw him walking down the street next to the campus one day after mm -hmm. the accident. But that's got to be a lie. Styles doesn't come on campus. He won't even leave the house. He's so self-conscious about his face. <laughs> Maybe she forgot when it was. Uh, Maybe. Okay. Anyway, that's hardly incriminating evidence. She's yeah. too much of an odd bird to be involved with a conspiracy, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. Okay. I found notes for a new screenplay in Harvey's room. Ten guesses what it's about. Us? Yeah. Yeah, I bet yeah. so. And the experiment. Yep. Tell me that's not suspicious. Was there a description of me? Did he mention my nose? <sighs> he said it was big, didn't he? Oh, Helena. God. <laughs> I have a right to know. All right. No. no, his notes were free of comments on your proboscis. Good. Okay. Am I the pretty one? It wasn't all that fleshed out yet. Darling, don't get all worked up. It's bad for your complexion. Okay. I found this in Charles's room. Oh my god. This is priceless. It doesn't huh? look anything like him. And the date on the back is just one year ago. I think Charles is an imposter. Please. I recognize the mole on his neck. Lovely mole. <laughs> of course, it was a bit less lovely at the time. No one can change that much in a year. Maybe it's Unless a he took a crash diet. If Charles had a record. He wouldn't want to register under his own name. One word. Hormones. This is definitely Charles. And if he looked like this a year ago, then he probably really is a virgin. God, I feel faint. Can I keep this? No. Okay. I might need it as evidence. <laughs> this evidence girl. What? Ugly duckling syndrome? Hmm, what a twist. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go away now. Uh, let's go. Let's head inside. Hey, I mean, hello. Ooh. Hello. Who's there, please? Or not? Ooh, that must be the ghost. Mrs. Dalton! Uh-oh. What? <laughs> Are you gonna not even mention... Well, I bet we're gonna ask. What the hell is this doing in my desk drawer? What? Houdini. He has a habit of sort of appearing. He? Who told you you could have a pet in this house? He's in my room. I don't see what difference it makes to you. Well, he's not in your room now, is he? Yeah. This is my home, Miss Everett, and I don't care to have it smelling like a barn. Houdini does not smell. You could have a herd of buffalo in this house for all the use you uh -huh. get out of it. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Hush now. Oh, my goodness. What a to do. About What's with everyone holding the rabbit by its ears? Put him in his cage. Put the thing in the garage. No way. He'll freeze out there. Put him in my room, Mrs. Dalton. Sam. It's... Oh, by the way, who's visiting the house today? What do you mean? I'm... I saw a woman on the stairs just now. Blonde, white dress. You saw no such thing. <laughs> the, the lighting on those stairs is terrible. <laughs> I keep asking that something be done about it, but no one pays the yeah, slightest stop. attention. 
bothering poor Dr. Stiles with nonsense like that. Um... Uh... As a pet. Again? Wow. Is that menopause? Again, what's with them carrying it by its ears? Samantha, tell me what you saw exactly. There was a woman walking up the stairs when I came in. Uh huh. Out, but she didn't stop. There is someone here today. What's the big secret? Never mind. It's nothing that concerns you. What did you learn at university? Well, let's touch him. Doctor Styles. Well, he asked, "Why didn't we get that question list?" Okay. The Lambs Club is really worked up. I thought you should know. Lambs Club. Yep. You planning to put lambs in the parlor now, in addition to rabbits in bedrooms and bats in the belfry? That's what the students in the experience call uh -huh. themselves. You know, as in yep. lost. Or maybe yet yeah, sacrificial. Okay. What do you mean they're worked up? They're freaked about the track and pool incidents. Uh -huh. Some of them might not come back. What? What nonsense! <laughs> what does it have to do with them? I'd like to know. The conditions of the experiment must remain the same. Those students are your responsibility, Samantha. Getting them here is your job, and I expect you to do it. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. I investigated the incidents at the track and pool. Yep. Yeah. Both were obviously staged. <laughs> there was okay. a whirlwind at the track that was probably created by a helicopter. That got rid of the maintenance guy. Then they painted the track. Well, wouldn't they pool, hear the helicopter what noise? What the saw was the shape or bubble in the pool. And then the water changed color. It would have been easy to rig up a hose to blow air into the pool for a spooky effect as a misdirect. Then drop in the dye. Did anyone see or hear a helicopter? No, yeah. but there was only one witness, and he had headphones on. Headphones? Mm -hmm. And did they find dye in the pool? No, but all they cared about was cleaning the pool. I don't think anyone even checked. There wasn't any trace of dye around the edges of the pool or in the filters. Yep. But it was probably water soluble. And why would someone rent a helicopter and gallons of dye and time these incidents with my experiments, which I might add, almost no one knows about? Yep, pretty much. No, that seems a little bit far fetched. Because it's all bollocks. I hope the yeah. nationalist buyers can be put aside, Samantha. Because when I ask you to be my eyes and ears, I expect the facts, not your half baked opinions. If you can't <laughs> give me that, you're worse than useless. At least I'm willing to go out there. From what I've seen, your eyes and ears work just fine, mister. What are you, 23, 25? When you've experienced something of life, you can lecture me. I'm sorry. Look, I know what it's like when people... I want your report on the events by tonight. And this uh -huh. time, I want the facts. That is all. Man, this guy is, be is just nothing but a pure asshole. Did you know any of the students before the experiment started? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. I don't think the students have any connection to the incidents. You don't? Why? Mm. Just do as you're told, Samantha. Yeah. Right. I've always been real good at that. Okay. Tell me about you and Dr. Linkweller. I see you've been amusing yourself with gossip or ancient history, but I don't see. know or care what Linkweller is up to these days. Though I heard he was the keynote speaker at the Göttingen Conference last year. Mm-hmm. Just goes to show you the discernment of the academic community. Malik works for Linkweller. He's his <laughs> grad student. Tough luck for Malik. Okay. That doesn't worry you? That he might be reporting back to Linkweller? I have better things to worry about than that green bag. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I finished on the ham. So. Well. Uh. Yeah, everything's taken care of here. Uh. Let's go into the ham. Let's go to that magic shop as usual. Because it's like one of the more common places I head to in this game. I mean, I have to admit, it's nice that there's like, I just have to go to this one area to get all my solutions to a puzzle almost. How kind of you to visit. Yeah, you said that line, chat. You know, actually, I heard. I looked at the, like, again, I'm looking at the glimpse of the walkthrough, and apparently I can do this again, so. Uh. Twenty-one. 
That did it. Oh. There you go. The Sea Rambler Swallow. Plus, bring in the Slight Dove or the Con Swallow. It all began with the Cone's Chart. Oh. It's the Sea Rambler Swallow Riddle from the Black Wand. Okay, well, I was hoping she was going to read it to me, but I guess not. The Gonsets and the the shades, the dark and the knacknets, down in the neck and the mac. Find Alice. She is close to the nap. Follow the, her age. Blah 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 blah. Okay, just a more harder to read um, riddle. So yeah, now I have a new riddle to solve for that to for that secret club. Am I ever gonna enter that club at any time? Or does that club even exist? I don't know. Well, hopefully I'll find out in the next part. Yeah, I'm going to stop here. So, yep. I'm your point and critic gamer. Hope you're liking this Let's Play. Like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next part. See you around, everyone.